Welcome, and thank you for joining me. I want to talk to you today about the COVID-19 pandemic and what us as Buddhists can actually do to navigate this very challenging time using the Buddhist teachings. Before I begin, we have a free 14-day planner for Buddhists. The link will be inside the description of this video or on the post, so which, however you're viewing this video, you can kind of get to the link and download this free 14-day planner. So there's three things I want you to kind of think about as we go through this time, and this could extend for many months. We're not exactly sure when the pandemic will actually end, but as we all know, it's challenging for us. You know, our social interactions, our jobs, uh, the economy, uh, family, friends, health, I mean, you name it, everything seems to be kind of out of alignment for us right now. So three things as it relates to being a Buddhist. We can look at what's going on right now as Mara, so Mara was the, the you know this uh, this entity that challenged the Buddha when he was trying to become the Buddha when he was meditating under the Bodhi tree, you know everything he flung at him the Buddha was able to basically deflect, and understand its true nature. So we have to look at Mara as our own thoughts, our own delusions, our own desires, attachments, greed, hatred, anger. Those are our deformations inside our mind. So when we realize that Mara has no power. But right now, there's so much going on. There's so much fear, confusion, uh, disruption to our normal everyday life that Mara definitely has a lot of control, right? So the first part of the uh, three parts I want to talk about today is going to be mindfulness. So mindfulness is core to Buddhist uh, teaching and practice. It is part of the Noble Eightfold Path uh, for a very important reason. When we're mindful of these thoughts, these, you know, sensations or whatever, you know, is actually coming into our, our mind, when we know what it actually is, what we can see its true nature, it no longer has the power and control over us. But very often we allow it to have this power and control over us and thus we react, you know, wrong speech, wrong actions, etc. So mindfulness is going to be very important for you uh, during this entire pandemic, you know, not just when you're on the meditation cushion meditating, but when you're out in everyday life, when you're with your family, friends, when you're talking to somebody, responding to an email, when you hear something directed at you, you have to make sure that you're mindful of what's actually going on and what you're ingesting, what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're tasting, what you're smelling, everything, what you're hearing. Now, that goes into the, the second part. The Noble Eightfold Path is basically the, the crusp of Buddhist practice. So after the Buddha was enlightened, he gave his Four Noble Truths, and the Fourth Noble Truths is the Noble Eightfold Path. This is our way uh, towards Nirvana. So practicing the Noble Eightfold Path, especially during this time, is very, very beneficial. This is going to help us navigate this as Buddhists. And of, like I just mentioned, mindfulness is part of the Noble Eightfold Path, but we're going to practice that with utmost vigor and attention during this time. But we want to also practice all of the Noble Eightfold Path. Everything from right speech, right action, uh, right livelihood, etc., right thought. So we want to practice all of that, and the planner is going to give you some direction, daily activities that you can do to actually incorporate that into your daily practice. And like I mentioned, and this is not just going to be while you're meditating, right? This is going to be while you're out in the real world. And that could be when you're going to the grocery market or when you're online talking to somebody, to your boss, etc. So you want to be practicing a Noble Eightfold Path at all times. And don't worry if you can't, you know, I, I slip up here or slip up there. Recognize what actually occurred and, you know, you, you recognize it so you can kind of do better the next time. That's all part of practice. You know, we're going to fail. We're going to fall on certain things, but when we're mindful of what's going on, we can practice the Noble Eightfold Path a lot better. And that goes to the third part. As you kind of can see in, in the news and what's going on in the world, you know, there's compassion is there, but also not there. We have many people challenging. We have a lot of people uh, angry. There's, there's hatred, there's greed. But when you actually think about it, there's a lot of fear. And so fear makes people do certain things, right? So when we're mindful of what these actions are, what, what we're hearing, what we're seeing, could be based upon fear. We can also have compassion uh, for where they're coming from. So mind, uh, mindfulness of what's actually occurring, we're practicing a Noble Eightfold Path, but then compassion, uh, we're going to call it loving kindness, metta. So 
That's the third part. We want to have loving kindness for all sentient beings during this time. So when you're inside a grocery market and someone takes a last roll of toilet paper, right? We have to, you know, be mindful of that. Uh, make sure we're, we're following the knowledge full path, but then have compassion for that person. They're probably very fearful what's going on, and that could be just, you know, their outlet for that. Uh, maybe they say something um, nasty or, you know, very upsetting to you. Be mindful of that. Practice no way full path. Have compassion. Have that loving kindness. I'm not saying this is going to be easy, uh, but when we start practicing, practicing all these steps, we're going to become more and more uh, resilient to these types of challenges that Mara is throwing at us. So when we think about it this way, Mara is really inside our, our own mind, is our mind. That's our true enemy. And so we're not you know, fighting or challenging or battling anybody else uh, during this pandemic. We're battling, if you will, for lack of a better term, these thoughts, these conceptions, these feelings, these thoughts, uh, ideas, whatever you want to call it, inside our own mind. When we're mindful of it, what's occurring, what we're doing, when we're following a Noble Eightfold Path, and when we're practicing this deep compassion, this loving kindness, we're able to transform our mind to where it should be uh, in the Buddhist path. So this was just a quick video to kind of give you three things I think we should all be kind of doing during this time. It's what I'm, tr I'm trying to do as well. Uh, the daily planner that we have is chock full of different resources that can help you, including 14 days of guided steps uh, for each one. If you have any questions or any ideas, any resources you found, you definitely put it inside the comments so we can go ahead and share it. But I wish you all uh, to be healthy and safe and happy. And uh, I will talk to you next time. Thank you.